Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use command line arguments with Visual Basic Express. Now, what a command line argument is, or parameter, is, is when you launch an application, for example, up to DXC, with an application parameter, for example, slash s, slash a, slash whatever. And today I'm going to show you how to detect the prompt parsed by CMD or any other program using your VB.net application and do something for it. So, I'm going to create a new project. And I'll call it CMD Arguments Tutorial. And here is our program. We'll just double click it to get to the form load code. So just double click. There we go. And now the command we're going to be using is the for loop command. Um, and then we will have a for and the next. And we're going to use the for each command. For it's IRT and it means race ART as a string so it's like declaring ART as a string and in what that string uh, belongs to my dot application dot command line arts and now here we want to make a case Select case three open parenthesis L case open parenthesis again ART arg close open parenthesis two times and now chase and now we want to type our case let's see it's slash s for example uh do what uh, so so say form 2 for example or actually let's so uh, must box thanks for hating masses you know um, actually and Let's say case slash no guy view GUI middle hide for example. So when it has the parameter no GUI, it will hide the command. That's useful for starting up your program. Adding a register value with no GUI in HK local machine software, Microsoft Windows, card very run. And that's pretty good. And uh, let's say case slash a uh, and the default created by me. Um, yeah, the title would be about. So what I've done here is I made a program which reads the argument the command line arguments and if the argument is slash no get no gooby it hides itself if it's slash a uh, it prints something like an about dialog which only says created by me so let's just just set we will build our application and save it And we will now launch the command prompt. So let's tap in CMD CD documents visual studio 2010 projects 
now navigating to the folder that contains uh, this program tutorial cmd argument tutorial then release and as you can see it has an executable so we are going to run cmd arguments tutorial.exe uh, by using the new GUI option so okay something is wrong here slash s oh, oh slash s slash a From a bad type integer. Let me see here. It's gonna be something wrong. Okay. I've had a problem like this before. Of my phone not hiding, not hiding inside the code for some reason. I don't. I just go with created by ballot or one. Okay. MST box style. Okay, only Kuma about probably that will do the job better. So let's say this and let's try again this last A command. And it prints created by bonus one and then it serves the four. The the no GUI command doesn't work. No GUI, right? Um, not sure what we need. Maybe I'm stepping it wrong. So change it to no simple name. You know, simple word. I have to build this again. Program wide, but doesn't hide. Yeah, uh, if you are having visual basic, then you might have experienced this one, or if you times doesn't hide inside from the code. But no, for but it works. And um, yeah, one last thing I'm gonna do. Is add another parameter, another argument to detect case as empty box. Um, thanks for opening the program in learning mode. You know, or Whatever, I'm trying to think like, um, Frank just died. <laughs> um, not sure what, what to put in. What do, you, what do you think? So I put words last S. Actually, I'll get this as an input box. And the next door will be in how to get the input box answer. Okay, and in final segment, case else. So, in case none of them occurs, MSG box 
either no parameter was entered or um, the parameter entered isn't supported by the application. So we'll display a message and I'm gonna build this again. So we have a new stuff. And uh, let's go with slash s. What do you think swipe so for us? Mm, nothing. And slash mm, blah 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 which is not supported. Either no parameter was entered or the parameter enter isn't supported by the application. And if we enter no parameter, nothing happens actually because I've done this. So case else the parameter enter is not valid. That would work better. So let's build this and save it. And we are done. I hope you understood this. Uh, if you didn't, uh, please watch this video again. And if you don't get it, send me a personal message. Thanks for watching. Please write, comment, and subscribe.